Okay, today we're going to cover a program called Flip a Clip. It's an animation software and it's a free version. There is a paid version, but uh, we don't use that because we don't have money to pay for that. Um, it is a pretty powerful program and has lots of features, as you will see. The first thing we need to do is to name our document. It really doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, something descriptive is a good idea. We can also change our frames rate. Um, it defaults to 12 frames per second, uh, but you can change that up and down, but let's just keep it at 12 for now. You can also uh, select your canvas size, and we're just going to go with the standard default, I think it's the YouTube size. Now we've got our toolbar over on the left, and the first one I want to talk about are the brushes, or the drawing tools, really. We have several drawing tools. You see I can click on these drawing tools. And we've got a pen, a pencil, brush, and marker, all those. And if you click on that drawing tool a second time, it'll bring up the attributes, meaning that you can change the brush or you can change the size by clicking and holding and dragging up or down. And that will change the size. Or we can click on the color and change the color. You also have an eyedropper up there that you can use if you want to pick a color, but we don't have any colors to pick, so I won't show you how to do that. So let's choose a color. And we've got um, the pencil brush here, and you can see that if I push harder, of course, it gives me a darker um, pattern. There's something a little bit thinner. And I can always undo that. Let's select uh, the pen. It's going to give me a sharper line, and again, I can change the size. And there's the pencil, a little bit thinner. That is the brush, and this is the marker. And it looks like a highlighter here, but um, it's not really a highlighter. It can be any color you want. Okay, next up is the eraser tool. And you can see we tap on that to use it. We tap again, and we get to the attributes. We can change the size of it by dragging up or down. And then if we want to um, change the, um, the opacity of that, meaning that we can erase 50% if we wanted to, or we can erase 100%, or we can erase just 10%. And so you can see that there where I'm erasing just a percentage of it. And then I, if I want to erase all of it, I can drag that down all the way. We've got the lasso tool up next, and that's where I can select something and change it. I can move it, I can resize it, I can squish it. Um, I can also use that middle point as a pivot point. If I want to pivot it, i got to grab the middle of that to do that. And I can pivot on that, so I can uh, change the angle, and there I just flipped it backwards. Um, I also have these tools over here where I can uh, flip it horizontally or vertically, or I can also delete it. Uh, the fill tool, uh, we need something to fill, so I'm going to make some circles here that we can fill. Because if I fill it now, it'll fill the whole page. And I can select that twice, and then I can change the color. And then I just go back to my paper and click on it and fill it. Now right below that is the threshold. And this is important because sometimes when you fill an object, you'll see some white area where it didn't fill. And right here I've got the threshold up, and there's no white over there. So let me undo that and change the threshold. And i got to click and hold that, and then I fill. You see that white there? And that's because the threshold's not quite. So you can adjust that when you fill something, if you get those little white spots there. And just adjust it up and down until you get it the way you want it. The last tool is the text tool. And you can click on that and just type in some text. Now, also, if you click again, you see the attributes. I've got different fonts that I can use. And also, I can flip those horizontal and vertically, and also delete those. 
Um, I change the font here. And then to change the size, I can just grab the corner. And then, or I can drag it up and down. And then we have um, the color. I can change the color. And I could have also used the eyedropper to change the color for that. So those are your tools. Now there are other things that you can do with this. So let's look at the frames. To add a frame, you just add the plus sign there. And you can turn on the onion skin or, or off the onion skin. Onion skin means that you can see the previous frame. Uh, it looks like it's kind of like uh, less opaque, a little bit more transparent. You can also turn on the grid or off the grid. And you can insert pictures. But one thing I want to show you is the picture viewer. This comes in handy when you need to manage some. If you have a lot of frames, you need to manage some. You need to copy some or delete some. It really comes in handy. You can also move things around in this one here. Select them all and you can move them around. And you've got some tools on the bottom where you can copy them and paste them. And you can also delete some, you know, if you want to select several to delete. But if you want to create like kind of like a loop, you can select the ones you want to loop and then you can copy and paste several times to create that loop. So that's a pretty powerful feature. Uh, we also have layers. You can have up to three layers um, without paying extra. And you can name those layers, um, which I think is really helpful. You probably should name those layers so you don't get confused. And there's some, also some other things you can do with the layers. Like, for example, if you swipe over, you can lock the layer, or you can duplicate a layer, or you can delete the layer. In addition to that, you see the little arrow to the right? If you click on that, there's other attributes for the layer. Um, the opacity, and I think, is important. Um, but also, you've got this other feature here, this glow. And I think that's kind of cool. So I'm going to put a glow on some of my um, artwork here, and we'll see what it looks like. So um, I've got the layer there, and you can see um, I'm going to get some glow going on that. Look, you, when I've turned it on, you see everything is glowing, and I can bring up the glow or down the glow, and the distance and uh, the opacity, of course. And you can just um, change those settings and see what you like. Change the color so we have... Uh, an alien glow here and um, so I've got the three layers remember you can't get more than three layers unless you pay the extra fee that's all it will let you get so I don't have many frames here to show you much uh, I probably should do a few things so I'm gonna draw a few circles here and show you how this works And I drew a few there, and that one here I'm just going to delete. So if you click on those, you can just remove those. Or you can copy and paste those too. So that's another thing. So I'm just drawing some quick frames, draw some circles, overlapping them a little bit, changing them. And then I hit the play button, and it'll show you what you have so far. Now here's another tool I really like. Um, I call it the little ruler tool. Um, but it allows you to make some straight lines. And you can also change the angle of the lines. You can make some uh, circles and ovals perfectly. Or you can make some boxes and rectangles. And you can make it the size you want. You can rotate it. And then you can just draw around that to get a perfect box. So I kind of like that tool. I think it comes in handy. Obviously, you can copy and paste some of these things if you want to. Um, you can lasso them and copy and paste them. Um, and I just did that right there, or uh, obviously can undo. And then that long arrow that isn't at an angle, that makes it so it's full size on the screen. Now that's how you would close it. You can just close it up. If you want to make your movie, you just click on the dots and you go to make movie. Okay, so it will go ahead and make the movie and save it to your photos on your iPad. And you can go to your photos to view it. Now I didn't make much of a movie but uh, we can go view it and see what it looks like. Well, that's it for today. That's all I'm going to cover. You've got a good idea what to do with the tools. Go ahead and get started and make a cool animation.